If you've had statistics, you may have seen something like this in class where if you have the cumulative density function uh, with which we calculate probabilities from a z-score, um, that's equal to this relationship here with what we call the error function. Uh, I'm using the Greek, the Greek uh, variable, the Greek letter phi here, so if it looks weird, don't let it confuse you. Um, it's kind of standard to use it, uh, oftentimes capitalized, but I prefer lowercase because it's, I don't like making the capital letter very much. But uh, anyway, just a quick background here. You may know this is the, 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 the CDF is just the integral of the PDF, the probability density function, the normal probability density function. And uh, so uh, here we have two versions of it. This is the general version. This is where you have a mean and a standard deviation that are actually part of the equation. And this is generally used if you have a mean other than zero and a standard deviation other than one. If uh, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one, you don't need this complexity here. You would just, here you'll notice that the, 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 the sigma is gone and mu is gone and we just have t squared. And so other than that, this is the same thing as this. This is just the simplified version where if you're using the normal, uh, I should say the standard normal probability with mean zero and sigma of one. Okay, otherwise we would use this. But uh, here, so, so this is just, these are just the definitions that we're gonna use for the proof. And then this is the error function. I just call it ERV. Uh, and the advantage with it is the argument here is just simpler. Here we just have negative t squared. We don't have all of this. Uh, and here we don't have this uh, one half involved. And so that's kind of why this is used. It's just a little simpler to deal with. We're going to do this in two steps. First, we're going to start out by proving this, that if you have the general CDF uh, and you just enter in x, that's the same as having the simpler version, the standard normal version, where you plug in the entire z-score, which has x and mu and sigma in it. That's a little intuitive anyway. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with. To show this is equal to this, we're just going to take uh, this thing, which I just copied down here, and it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do a u substitution. We're going to make u equal to t minus mu over sigma. And when we do du, we're going to get 1 over sigma dt. I'm going to multiply both sides by sigma. And that way we see we can replace dt with sigma du. And so when the du goes here and sigma, which is a constant with regard to this integral, can just come out front and that's going to cancel with this sigma. And so what we're going to get is sigma gone here. We're going to get e to the negative one half. This is all u squared du. And when we change the bounds of integration, we're going to get uh, when t is negative infinity, if you think about it, then u is going to be negative infinity. When t is x, u is going to be x minus mu over sigma. And uh, You'll notice I really have this thing here, except uh, two things I'm going to do. Uh, since u is just a variable and I'm done with all my substitutions, I can choose to make the variable anything I want. So instead of calling this u, I'm going to use t again. Okay, and uh, you'll notice here what I really have is 
is the simplified version, the standard normal version. Uh, and here, if you think about it, X is my input. So this is where the input is actually plugged in. Well, if I want the input to be all of this, that's what would go here. And so we've shown that this is equal to this. Next uh, step two, we're going to show that the standard normal probability CDF is equal to this expression uh, with the earth in it. And if our input here is x, then the only adjustment necessary is that x needs to be divided by root 2 if it's plugged into the earth. And uh, OK, so keep in mind this is the standard normal probability, which has a mean of 0. And so we can, we can remember that it's symmetric about 0. So we have our mean of 0 here. We go from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we know that the total area under the curve is 1, which means that the total area from negative infinity up to 0 is going to be 1 half. And so we're going to use that now. And uh, we, instead of going from negative infinity up to some x, we're just going to go from negative infinity to 0, and we're going to call that 1 half. So that's all we need to do there. And so now the only thing we're worrying about is this part, which means uh, we can write we can write it just like it was except now we go from 0 to x so instead of negative infinity to x we're taking care of the one half that gets us up to here and now we're integrating from 0 up to some x okay um, one thing that we want to do, we want to get the earth, we want to get this thing looking like earth. And it's missing a 2 here. It's 1, and the error function has a 2 there. So we can do a quick little adjustment there by let's go ahead and put a 2 here and multiply it by 1 half. And now we have something equivalent. OK, now another thing we're going to do is do our u substitution. And we're going to say u equals t over square root of 2. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by root 2 and express it this way. And it will also be useful to square both sides. OK, so that's our u. And I just expressed uh, just expressed everything different ways that this it's just, you know, all comes from this. And now we're going to do our du. And our du is going to be this. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by root 2. Because I just like to say, OK, dt, I can just replace with this. And so now let's go ahead and use this. <clears throat> uh, root 2 pi, I'm going to just write it separately. We know this is this is the same thing as this. Uh, OK, let's see. We'll change bounds of integration in a minute. Let's do our substitution for t. So if t squared is 2u squared, then when we do our u substitution, we're going to get this. 
and then dt changes to root 2 du and the root 2 can come out here and that will cancel and now let's change our bounds of integration if t is 0 then u is 0 and if t is x then u is x over root 2 okay so just to clean it up a little and now this is a complete change since we changed our bounds of integration um, I could call u anything I want so we don't care what the variable is so I'm gonna go ahead and just call the variable u the variable t again okay so uh, Let's write one more line, actually, actually two more, I think. We're almost there. Okay, so this whole thing now is the earth. And it's being evaluated at, well, here's our input. So x over root 2. And now I'm just going to factor out 1 half out of both these terms. And this is now what we had here. So we have shown that this, the standard normal probability function, or CDF, CDF um, evaluated at x is equal to this here, which is the earth function evaluated at x over square root of 2. And then, of course, this other stuff. And so uh, now we're just about done with the proof we just need to make a general conclusion okay so we just showed that this is true and this is our goal we want to show that the general normal CDF evaluated at X because remember the general already has the mean and the standard deviation in it well if we take this and we plug in X that's the same as doing the earth with you know these other numbers here but the point is we it's easier to use earth than it is this thing and we can do that as long as we when we plug into earth uh, we plug in this entire you know this would be a z-score and we divide that by square root of 2 and that's all we need to, to do to make these equivalent well, okay, so let's look at let's look at this the, these two statements here now. So we've concluded this is equal to this, and this and this are the same function. This is the standard normal CDF. So what we're going to do here is let's just take the standard normal CDF, and we'll make the input this thing. <clears throat> okay so if the input is this thing then what we need to do actually I was going to do two steps but really if you're if you're at this level and you're looking at integrals you don't need this this is just simple algebra so um, 
don't want to insult your intelligence here. So let's go ahead and plug this in here. And we know dividing by root 2, well, that can just be in the, in the denominator with this. And that's getting done. <clears throat> and so uh, on this side, we have this thing. And up here, we have this thing. So we have proven this statement because this is equal to this. And we made this equal to this. And this is equal to this. Therefore, we conclude that the general CDF evaluated at x is equal to 1 half times 1 plus the earth evaluated at this thing divided by square root of 2.